In this video, we will explain the concept of innateness in language. As you may know, language is what humans use to communicate with each other. But have you ever thought about how you learn to use language? Is it because when you were young, you heard the people around you, for example, your parents or teachers talk, and you started to imitate that? Or would you have been able to talk even if no one taught you? This is actually something that people who study language, who are called linguists, are still debating on. In this video, we will talk about a few of those people and their theories. One of those people is Noam Chomsky. Chomsky thought that language is innate. Innateness of language means that when a child is born, it already has the ability to learn a language. Just like when a spider is born, it instinctively knows how to make a web. Just like the ability to spin a web is programmed in the spider, Chomsky thought that the ability to learn a language was also programmed in humans from birth. The innateness of language means that language skills will develop, even if there is no one around to teach language to the child. He thought this because he saw that children learned language very quickly, almost too quickly to be explained. Children go from babbling nonsense words to speaking in full sentences in just a few years time. Next to that, children can also learn a second language very easily, which is much harder at a later age. So he came up with a new theory, which he called universal grammar. He called it universal, as universal means everyone, and this is something Chomsky thought as well, so all people were born being able to recognize categories of words such as nouns, which are objects, verbs, which are words, and other parts of language. The only way to test if his theory was correct was for Chomsky to do an experiment in which children would grow up without anyone using language around them. But Chomsky was never able to test his theory because it would be too cruel to test his theory on a real baby. But another linguist called Skinner had another theory about how children learn language. He thought that through hearing, repeating and being rewarded, a child could learn a language. He wrote a book called Verbal Behavior about this. He used behavior in the title because children learn how to behave properly in the same way. Skinner says that language is all learned from other people and it is not something you are born with. And so he disagrees with our first linguist, Chomsky. However, other linguists also disagree with Skinner because children who grew up without hearing language, which are known as wild children, they found it very difficult to learn a language. But Skinner says this is because they learned their first language too late. Linguists today have even more theories about how we learn our first language. One is called pattern recognition. This is when a child learns the rules of grammar because the child can see a pattern. For example, a child can see that you need to add an S to the end of a verb, a doing word. When speaking about somebody else, like daddy eats or she runs, but you do not add an S if you are talking about yourself, like I eat or I run. After hearing this pattern many times, the child can start using grammar correctly too. Finally, there is one more theory that says it is a mixture of all the theories that we have talked about today. It is called emergences theory. You might have heard of nature versus nurture before. The emergentist theory is the same. It says that a child learns a language because of both nature and nurture. By hearing a language and also being born with an ability to learn a language quickly, humans can learn to speak a language correctly. Many studies have been done which show that it is likely that learning a language is a complicated process which does need both nature and nurture. So what do you think? Do you think humans are born with the ability to learn a language? Or maybe you think that a child learns from people around them? But also, could it be a combination of both maybe? Either way, it is very difficult for linguists to say why babies learn a language so quickly. Especially because no test can be done to show what happens when a baby does not grow up with a language. And every person is different and learns at a different speed which is another thing for linguists to think about. So, it is up to you. What do you think is the most likely answer?